Coach Kim, seasoned personal trainer. We have a 15 minute stretch session using your stretch strap. I'm not gonna say that 10 times real quick, but your lower back, your hips, your shoulders, we're gonna open everything up. You're gonna feel amazing after this. All right, so what I'd like you to do, and what's nice about the stretch strap, it has these little handles. If you happen to have a strap that doesn't have handles, that's fine as well. But I want your feet about shoulder width, maybe a little bit wider. I want your hands in a nice wide grip. Lift the arms up, keep that strap tight, and then come back down. Nice, my knees are soft, my tummy's tight, and I'm bringing that strap up and out. You're gonna feel that open up the shoulders, the chest. Really, really great. If you do have shoulder issues, I really encourage you to move that shoulder around because motion is lotion. All the way up, if you feel pain, remember to listen to your body, guys. There's a big difference between the good pain and the bad pain. All the way up, and you know the difference. Good, let's get another one. All the way up, up, up. Perfect. Now what I'd like you to do is we're just gonna gently go to the side and you're gonna feel this on the sides. Keep your tummy tight, soft knees. And when I say tummy tight, it's like you're pulling your belly button into your spine. Good, that helps protect the back. So this is just stretching your sides a little bit. And you know, if you think about it, stretching is natural. Think about our animals, your, your cats and dogs, when they get up in the morning, it's natural to stretch. Good. So what I'd like you to do, and I'm gonna stand sideways so you can see me here, is put the strap behind you, if you don't mind. And it doesn't matter um, where you kind of get a good grip. I'm gonna kind of make it a little bit narrow of a grip if I can grip it here. Boop, boop, boop. You're gonna bring it up behind you and stretch your shoulder and chest. So have your palms up, get that strap, and then lift it up behind you. Yes, hold and come back down. What I don't want you to do is lean. So stand up tall, lift the strap up and behind you. Arms are straight. Come back down. So you're gonna feel this in the front of the shoulder here, the chest, and a little bit of the back of the arms. Good. So lift up again, up, and back down. Good. So again, a great to open up that chest and shoulder. So many of us tend to do this or have issues, so that's a good one. This next one, I like to call it the bully. And not that I'm gonna be a bully to you, because I'm not a bully. I know I can be bossy though. You're gonna take one hand behind you, one up. And what you're gonna do, and this is why it's called a bully. As this arm goes down, the other one goes up, if you can see what I'm doing here. So it's a good stretch, and I'm just gonna kind of a give take here. So we're going down and up. You're gonna feel this in the triceps and the shoulder. So gently just bully with yourself here. It's like you're playing a little tug of war, and you know, don't overstretch. Bring it down and up. Let's get one more down and up and then let's switch sides now i don't know about you all but one side for me is more flexible than the other i played years and years and years of racquetball racquetball unfortunately is a dying sport these days but um, i have i had injuries all the way up from all the overuse of playing so i'm very i noticed there's a big difference in one side more than the other so you might find the same difference all the way up and that's okay so bully it down and then pull it all the way up so I'm not forcing anything. Good, so it's just a gentle give and take. Should not feel pain. Very nice, good. Now I'd like you to take the edge right here. First off, you might get near a wall or a chair. Trust me on this, especially if your balance is kind of not so great. I'm gonna put this right, the, the end loop right there around. Now if you don't have a loop, you can just wrap the uh, strap or whatever you might have. I'm gonna bring this behind me right here and I'm gonna give a good stretch for my quadricep. And there's a lot of folks that can't, you can't lift your hands behind you, so try to remember this one. And again, if you need to hold on to a, a chair or a wall for some stability, I encourage you to do that. So a deeper stretch, you just kind of pull it up a little bit more. And if you wanna activate the hip, you can do a little lean. Good. And then switch sides, good. So let's go ahead and put it in the other side. And you know what, if you have to use a chair or a wall, which most of you will, I encourage you to keep it near you, but maybe you can make it your goal that you're gonna work on it without a chair or a wall. And hold the stretch, good. Feel that right in the thighs, the quadricep muscle. And then do a little lean for me. Oh, we're opening the hip and you're giving a little pull, a little pull, hold, and then bring it back down. Very nice, good, that's great. So, next one and last one. We're gonna go back to some upper body. Put your hands in the loops if you have loops. Otherwise, I want this to be a pretty wide grip. And we're gonna take it, and I'm gonna bring this directly behind me into a little pass-through all the way forward. Let's just do a couple of these, waking up the shoulders. Good. We're gonna get one more for fun. Bring it back behind you, and good. 
These are some great stretches using the strap here for your hamstrings, your hip flexors, IT bands, and lower backs. So let's find that firm surface. And if you have a strap like mine, that's great. I put it through the, the middle loop. If you don't have a loop, just put the strap around the bottom part of your foot. So we're gonna start. I'm starting with my left leg bent, my right leg straight out. So your leg doesn't have to be bent, but those with back issues, you'll prefer it. I'm gonna lay flat. I'm gonna choke up on the strap. Now, what do I mean by that? See how I'm choking up on it? Notice my leg is straight. I don't want it bent. Straighten it up, hold it for a couple seconds, and then lower that leg down. I'm gonna do a little active isolated stretching. You breathe out, pull it up, good, hold. Now, each time you come up, try to just go a little bit more. Now, remember, stretching is slight discomfort, not pain. Hold, yes, your hamstrings right here. You feel that? Come back down, good, that's what I want. All the way up, we're not muscling it. Remember, stretching is not a muscly exercise. Great for rehab or those that might be dealing with a little bit of pain, come back down, or you just wanna feel good. Stretching feels good. Let's go up again, up, 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 up. Very nice, excellent. So what I'd like you to do now is you're gonna point and flex that foot. You can separate the strap. So point and flex. Oh, you feel that through the calf. Try to keep that leg straight, don't bend the knee. We're pointing and flexing. Let that foot go through the full range of motion. You're gonna feel a stretch to the calf. And this also feels good for that ankle. If you need a little mobility in that ankle, push, somebody's dealing with a chronic issue, stretching is great for that. And you could do stretches daily. So I encourage you to do this daily, even twice a day would be fine. Good. Now, next one I'd like you to do is take the strap. If, the strap, if I'm in my right leg, I'm gonna take a strap to the right side of my right leg and I'm gonna wrap it. It's gonna support my knee. Hand down by my side, I'm gonna bring the leg out to the side, and then I'm gonna bring it back up. Notice the leg staying straight, just a spongy knee, and bring it down. Good, you're gonna feel this in the groin and the hip. Very nice. And remember to always breathe. Whoo, I'm proud of you for doing this. You know, that's the hardest part is showing up. Whoo, and hope some of you aren't just watching this, you're actually doing it with me. Let's do another one, bring it out to the side and then come back up, very nice. Now, what I'd like you to do is let that left leg go flat. If you have your left leg, if you're using your right leg, use your right leg. Go ahead and wrap the strap on the inside of your right leg. So the opposite way you had last time. Keep the shoulder blades on the ground, bring this across your body, and then come back up. Now, those of you that have sciatica issues or IT band issues, which runs from the hip to the knee, these are great stretches for you and then come back up. So what I don't want you to do is roll your whole body. Keep your shoulder blades down the best you can. Bring this across and then come back up. Good, I'm holding onto that strap. And again, that little wrap just helps support the knee. I'm holding it for roughly two seconds and then coming back up. Let's do one more. Bring it out. I don't know about you, but this feels amazing to me. And come back up and I'm feeling a good stretch right through here in my hippie area. So next one I'd like you to do is go ahead and switch legs. So bend that other leg. You're gonna straighten it up, lower the leg and then lift the leg, choking up on it. Hold, good, keep that leg straight and bring it down. And remember to breathe out as you lift up. <sighs> good. And each time you lift up, try to just go a little bit more, just a little bit. And if it won't go a little bit, that's fine. You do what works for you. We got a couple more. So breathing out, you're gonna feel amazing after this. Ah, boy, your day is gonna flow downstream. We don't like those upstream days. Come all the way up, 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 hold. Beautiful. And remember, tight hamstrings and tight hip flexors contribute to back pain. And nobody wants to have back pain, do we? And if you do, do have back pain, that'll help it by strengthening and stretching it. And if you don't have back pain, well, it'll help you from preventing getting back pain. So I'm all about prevention. Now we're pointing and flexing the foot, just like we did in the other one. Keep the leg straight. Flex and point, go through its full range of motion the best you can. We wanna be pain free, good. Now take that strap, wrap it on the outside of the leg. Outside of the leg, good. I'm holding onto the strap as I bring it out to the side and then come back up. Isn't that, the strap is a, such a great useful tool for helping support the leg. Ah, and then come back up. So you can strap, you can use an, a rope, you can use an old necktie, whatever works for you. Ah, make sure, make sure it's good and supportive with your leg. Let's get a couple more. Out to the side. My knees are spongy. You feel any crickling, crackling, any Rice Krispies going on? That's okay. Bring it out and then back up. Good. So let's go ahead and unravel. 
Bring it on the inside of the leg. Extend the other leg out straight. Put your hand down for a little support. You're gonna bring this out to the side and then bring it back up. Good, feel that in the IT band there and the glutes, bring it down to the side and then come back up. Very nice. Let's go again. Remember to breathe, hold for a couple seconds and I don't want that whole body turning. So you're just bringing it out to the side. Boy, get into a good habit of stretching. You know, we are an accumulation of our habits. You know, think about what we eat, our sleeping habits, and how we live, and the thoughts we think. So let's just add that stretching to one of those good habits that you're going to start doing. Let's get one more for fun. Bring it out to the side, and then come back up. And you know it is. It's so important to be thinking those happy thoughts. So, so many of us have what I call stinking thinking, and we don't want to have that, do we? So let's wrap that strap around both those legs there. And I'd like you to go ahead and pull in. Oh, doesn't that feel amazing? Your lower back's gonna love you. Hold right here. Good. Release. And let's go again. So what I'm doing, you can choke up on this if you'd like to, is pull this into your chest. This is flexion of your spine. Very nice. And then release. Remember to breathe. Pull it in. You got tension in your lower back. This is a great one. Come back down. Let's pull, breathe, back down. Let's get another one. Pull, breathe, good. Lift those legs up, pull it back towards you. Bend the knees slightly. Ah, hold right here. Notice how my knees are slightly bent. And again, this is a superior lower back stretch. So my head is relaxed, my back is flat, and I'm just holding this. This feels amazing. Good, let's put that left leg flat to the ground. Again, you can put the strap inside your shoe here to give you more support or just wrap the strap around. And I'm gonna pull the knee into chest and I'm gonna push it away. So I'm just giving it a gentle pull. Guys, we're not muscling it. We're not, we're not having a wrestling match with yourself all the way up. You're just doing a nice gentle stretch. <sighs> pull, holding for a couple seconds. Let's get two more. So this is a knee to chest stretch. Great for the hip and the lower back. Let's get one more. You know, even if you just have a, maybe a stressful day or you just kind of want to unwind, these are great things to do. Let's go ahead and switch. Put your other foot in the middle. You can use the loop and the strap. Whoo, you can be lazy like me and just wrap it around. And then go straight and breathe out and pull. That's it. And you're far from being lazy. You know, the fact that you're actually doing something for your body and your health, these are putting nice little deposits in. I call them little health deposits. You know, every time you move your body, whether you take that walk, whether you stretch, whether you're lifting weights, you know, you go for the swim, whatever you're doing, release. You're moving your body and all those little deposits go into your little you know, health, health account. I call it your health account because you never know when you're going to need it to pull some of those deposits out. So this next exercise, what I'd like you to do, or should I say stretch, is put that strap right around the top of the foot. You're going to lean on your side and I'd like you to pull. So this is going to give you a deep stretch right in the quadricep and the hip. Oh, this feels amazing. Hold the stretch and then release. You can let your head relax or support it with your neck. Breathe out and pull, good. Now some people don't have the flexibility to come all the way up. So this strap gives you that little extra assistance to do it. And release and breathe out and pull, good. And each time try to go a little bit deeper. You wanna feel it more in the hip, you just kinda of pull it up a little higher. And release, let's get a couple more. And pull, mm-hmm and release. And some people have very limited knee flexion. That's fine. You just pull it up right here, wherever works for you. But if you have, can go a little deeper without pain, hold the stretch and release. Good. So now we're going to flip over to the other side. So let's go ahead and wrap it around that foot, top of the leg here. Here we go. And you're going to pull it back and hold. Very nice. Release. So the other leg can be slightly bent or extended out. Really doesn't matter there. What matters is that you feel this in the quadricep and the hip. I want you to breathe out as you pull it up. Release, let's get one more. Open up the hip, open up that quadricep. This feels amazing. So I'd like you to go ahead and sit up for me. So our last stretch is this. You're gonna wrap it around the front right here. Kind of up towards, it could be in the middle, or maybe even a little bit higher. I want you to point and flex. Good, sitting up tall. Some of you might even wanna be, you know, with your back up against a wall for some back support, and that's fine too. So sit up tall, point and flex, point and 
flex. Good. So, how do you feel? You feel pretty amazing, don't you? Well, I'm proud of you for doing the stretch and make sure you can get your stretch on daily. And thank you for joining Coach Kim. Thank you for joining me on your stretch sessions. Don't you feel amazing? Do you feel taller? Do you feel like your hips are open and your lower back feels better? Remember, you can do this daily. Stretch daily. Your body needs a good stretch. It feels good. And remember to always check with your doctor before starting an exercise program.